Morning everybody, hope this finds you well. Um, it is Tuesday morning and uh, the, uh, th oh, the last day of March, so April Fool's Day tomorrow. <laughs> There's some irony there I think. Anyway, so first thing I want to say is I, I hope you are looking after your mental health and well-being, I hope you are creating, I hope you are connecting with your community. Do you remember you can do that through Facebook, through the King Street Facebook page and our chat rooms. Uh, we have our own art uh, chat room as well, which is solely focused on the art. The other one, the quarantine room, is a bit of fun. It's where artists connect, talk about things, what's happening for, for them in their lives. They're, um, they're putting quizzes on, um, challenges, all sorts of things are happening on that one. It's a great uh, platform for peer support. Um, and King Street staff are always involved with that as well. So we, if, if you have any queries or questions about what's happening, please don't hesitate to contact uh, one of us. Um, also, you can, can contact um, me directly through um, King Street's um, email address, which is kingst, K-I-N-G-S-T, at wise.net.nz. Just a note um, that I heard yesterday that GPs, funny enough, are very quiet. And what they think is happening is that people are afraid to contact them because they think that they are very busy. Uh, so I think you've got to remember that your well-being, your health comes first. If you're feeling in pain or you need a, a new script, please do not hesitate to contact your GP. It's really important that you do so. Uh, today's workshop, or well, it's not so, it is a workshop kind of, it's a, a loose one. I'm, I'm going to be talking a little bit about drawing. I'm not a big drawer, I don't enjoy it very much, but the, it is an incredibly important, uh, a, a, an important part of the process. Uh, and I would urge people to draw all the time. Um, what I'm going to do today is going to show you some of the stuff that I've done, the progress or the, or the process, I should say, not the progress, but the process of creating a painting. Uh, sometimes it is directly on the canvas. Sometimes um, I do uh, sketches on a sketchbook beforehand. Uh, sometimes I use Photoshop. So um, Photoshop is a really great tool where you can actually put layers in of different images and you can move those layers around until you get the right composition. Um, I find it frustrating with drawing because, you, you know, if you don't get it straight away, you've got to start again and blah, blah, blah. It can be very frustrating. So, um, but having said that, I find my paintings where I've drawn initially are a lot looser and there's a lot more energy in them than the ones that I've used with Photoshop. And I want to put some examples online uh, of the, the difference in, of, of the two uh, paintings or painting styles. So um, if you remember we're doing this one day challenge, uh, drawing a creature one a day, I'm going to show you an example of what I've done today. I haven't painted him yet but in the picture I did yesterday I've drawn uh, um, a large octopus and he's going to be creating some sort of island on the edge of the, uh, of the sea. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later on as well. Um, so just remember that um, creation, creating or the act of creating doesn't have to be expensive. Think about something laterally, collage, uh, finding found objects, making sculptures out of found objects. You might have a garage full of junk that you could create sculptures out of. Uh, you could find stuff in the garden or, or um, tree branches or leaves or uh, anything with textures in it, um, any bones, oh, great skulls, bird skulls are fantastic if you can find any of those. Um, you could even, if you've got your phone, you could take some photographs of things and post those online. If you want to post them on the King Street uh, web, web page, just uh, email me at uh, King Street, uh, that's K-I-N-G-S-T at wires.nz and I will post it or if, if you, I'm not sure if you can post it, but I think you can. You, you're very welcome to do so, that's the King Street um, uh, Facebook page, um, please um, post it there. So we just want to see your progress. What's happening is in the chat rooms, the chat rooms are fantastic, they're really working well. We've got two chat rooms, remember, we've got the, the, the artist one, which is focusing on art techniques and workshops and things like that, and then we've got the support one, which is uh, it's called the King Street Quarantine chat room, and that's peer support and quizzes and fun, and just any questions and queries and just, just general fun and support that's happening there. Not just with the, uh, uh, with the King Street staff, but with the King Street artists as well. So it's a really good way to do it. Um, and if you post things in there, and you're very welcome to do so, it very quickly gets lost in the message. It gets kind of put to the top, and, and um, that's a shame, really, because people don't generally scroll up. But if you post it on the King Street Facebook page, it'll be there for, for a long time. Um, so, And if you have difficulty doing that, just email me at, uh, at King Street Artworks, uh, sorry, King Street at wise.net.nz, K-I-N-G-S-T at wise.net.nz, 
and I will post it on there for you. So anyway, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to just show you a few drawings and a few techniques and, and, and I'm going to show you some snippets of work uh, and explain the difference in, um, in techniques that I've used to create that work and hopefully it might inspire you to do something today. Farewell. So I hope the lighting's okay on this one. So this is the um, one a day painting um, and as you can see I have used a chalk pencil to draw in the octopus. There are a few lines there that I'm going to correct as, as we go along. Um, but that's one way of starting uh, I think um, just painting to kind of loosen it up a little bit more. Um, and so the octopus is going to actually have, the back of the octopus will have uh, an island uh, Kind of well, it'll be an island. It'll have trees and palm uh, palm trees and things like that on it. So uh, yet to be decided. But it's just kind of one way of um, uh, draw, uh, creating a painting as as you go, which is what this whole exercise is. Is one a day is, is going to be a definitely as you go sort of thing. There will be a little bit of thought, but not a lot. I think really in respect to kind of planning the composition. Um, so we shall see. Uh, and that that's the whole point. It's just having fun. So this piece is called Oracle and a Coracle, it's acrylic on canvas and it was uh, done uh, after an initial illustration with uh, pencil. Uh, so that pencil that drawing has been taken and put onto the canvas. The next piece is called The Tourists and it's oil on aluminium and this was a painting that was constructed using Photoshop initially so I can get all the composition and things in place uh, and all the details in place and then I take that image and then I transfer it onto aluminium. So that's the end of today's uh, video. Um, I do hope you have a really great rest of the, rest of the day uh, and we will sp sp speak soon. Uh, remember King Street's email is kingst at wise.net.nz. Thank you.